morning, morning. greetings, salutations, YouTube and and welcome to another episode of the vlog. I am getting a little coffee coffee ready. Let's do a little pumpkin. Mom, this is our last pumpkin spice, Mom. Like of the last box. I know. I'm gonna make that. Also outside, it was raining yesterday, and then now it's like super duper windy. Look at all the dust that blew in, and it's so windy. So it like calmed down a little bit, but the pool is like full of dust. Like it's crazy. All right, you guys. I heated up some leftover baked ziti from the other night. Looks so good, and I also have my coffee over here as well. Yum. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's like, it got really windy, all the dust just flew the, into the air. Oh, look at the dust. Oh, oh my gosh, it looks like it's super foggy, but that is dust. dust. Oh. Ah, no. Dust. You guys, it's like we're in like the Wizard of Oz when that when it was like really windy that is what it looks like it is crazy look at all the bush oh my gosh it is crazy over there look at that it's nuts all of our plants are gonna like fly away we're not gonna have any more like flowers on the plants Oh my gosh, you guys, John and I just spent like 20 minutes getting all of our decorations that flew away outside. So this plant, I don't know, it like got destroyed by the wind. It was like right over here. Um, this thing flew over. We have a casualty from the wind. Oh no. I have a video on my phone when I first came out. But we lost one pumpkin. That topiary thing is like... Take out all this stuff. The pumpkins are all blowing away. Right here, all the pumpkins and stuff. But it is crazy. And this doesn't want to stand up straight anymore. I keep trying to fix it. But it just keeps falling over. We're gonna have to restake it. Oh man, gotta pick up this plant over here too. Oh man, all the apples fell off the tree. Oh, and all those things fell too, crazy. Hey guys, Mom and I are gonna film, so I'm gonna dry her hair, make her gorgeous, gorgeouser than usual. Now we are done, look at how Luscious and gorgeous mom's hair looks. Ooh, fantastic. Hey guys, I'm trying to like prep for the video that mom and I are gonna make today. We're gonna make a charcuterie board. We have no clue what we're doing and this is our first time and we just grabbed stuff around the house and then I bought these two things specifically for the board and then everything else we just had. So we are getting more stuff ready. Mom and I are like playing around with what we're gonna do. Again, we honestly have no clue. Like we found like these like little snack things. We found some peanuts. We're gonna cut up some apples. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm trying to like fallify this thing. So I don't know, I'm gonna add like some decor once we like figure this whole thing out. But um, I don't know, it's pretty fun so far. Mom and I are excited to just eat everything. Hey guys, mom and I just finished filming. It's back there. It's so good. I can't show you what it is. Actually, I'll show you guys because I already showed. Really quick. Ah, it's so good. Mom, is it so delicious? So good. <sighs> I never ever thought it was because they're all just left over. I know. So now I just have to eat everything. Oh, there's John. Come here, John. Look at what we made. What are your thoughts? John, it's so good. Try one. Try it. Mom, make one for your little angel. I'm sure he's clueless. <laughs> My littlest angel. John, 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 John. 
my turn, 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 turn. angel. Turn, don't get crazy. All right, you guys, so I was outside watering the plants. And Yasmin finished the rest of the charcuterie board. It was delicious. I don't regret any of it. She ate all of it. <laughs> it was so good. That's a lot. Oh no, mom, you can see the fire now. Look at the smoke. Why are you so excited about That's it? That's a lot. I'm not excited, but like Adrian uh, ate all of it before you went to <gasps> That is a lie. You and I both ate all of it. <laughs> Alright guys, today has been super duper crazy. Um I have been watering all the plants because they have gotten super duper dry because of all the wind. The wind has finally died down. Like, it has been non-stop the whole day. Um, all the plants are kind of like in shambles, to be honest. Like, all the leaves and even the branches on this tree have been pulled off. Um, there's all this stuff is just on the floor. And then there's also this super crazy fire over there. And it's, I think it's like less than eight miles away from us. That one is burning really intensely. That new plume right there, it's growing so fast and it's so scary. So we're kind of just waiting. Uh, Mom started packing up stuff just in case. And I am literally watering all the plants and around the house. I'm actually gonna water back there, like, I don't know, just in case, you can never be too careful. So that's kind of what is happening right now. So I'm actually, oh gosh, look at the pool. This is from all the ash and all of the um, just dirt just blowing when it was so windy. I don't know, it looks, crazy in there but you look at how big that plume got like it, it it's growing so quickly i can see it grow before my eyes it's nuts oh so i turned the pool back on so that the vacuum can kind of suction out some more of the dirt that's in the pool it is so intense but look at that little guy go he is such a trooper cleaning up that pool but look at the rest of it, like it is, it is nuts. That's all ash and dirt. That's, and it's, the pool just turned off. Um, and I turned it back on again to start another cycle of cleaning because this is going to be horrendous if it just stays like this. But I'm going to try and clean off like the little ledges so that um, the dirt will go down to the bottom hopefully you get um, vacuumed and cleaned up. Alright, this is how much the pool has been cleaned so far by our trusty pool vacuum. Not too shabby. Uh, I watered back here. I also watered all the plants back there. Well, since there's a fire back there, um, I'm watering the hill a little bit extra than I normally do. Just, you know, extra precaution. Plus it has been really windy and everything is kind of just like crazy and all the dirt is just blowing everywhere. So nothing but good things can happen from me watering the back of our little hill area thing right here. So that is what I'm doing. Just in case, but yeah, okay, going inside now, it's getting chilly. Hey guys, so mucho drama just occurred because we thought that, like, the, okay, so, the police actually was driving up and down our streets, and we, I couldn't, like, really hear what they were saying, because when I went outside, um, it was really hard to hear, 
but one of my neighbors actually got to talk to them and they said to be on high alert because of the fires. You can see, do you see like that light? That's back, like that red light, those are the fires. Like you can literally see the fire from here. Um, we're on high alert right now, so like we, th I thought at first that we actually had to evacuate because they're evacuating a lot of homes actually around our area. Um, but fortunately, we don't have to right now. But we are just like preparing in case we have to. So that's kind of what is happening at the moment. So that's the update. Right now, I'm just gonna get stuff together just in case we have to actually leave but actually i'm just cleaning up the kitchen first also because you know i'm crazy okay so quick update um clean the kitchen ish uh almost done or almost some of the kitchen did clean dining room uh everyone has kind of started packing just getting all the important stuff together uh well not this stuff that just needs to be put away but um yeah so just in case we do have to evacuate, everything's kind of like here already. And we can just throw them into the cars, but we don't want to put anything in the cars just yet. Um, so yeah, that's that's the update. Hey guys, I am just hopping on to end the video. Um, I just took a shower, and um, so this whole day has just been so super crazy. Um, it went from a mom and I, like... We were filmed, we filmed a video this morning, um, like a little kind of cooking video, and then after that, it was like, oh my gosh, the fires are actually really close, and then it was kind of like monitoring that along with how crazy the wind was, because the wind was literally blowing everything away, all our plants were like getting pushed, like blown over, um, so, and then I had to water the plants, and I wanted to water them extra in case the fires got closer. And then, um, I actually, like, literally, like, hosed down the house <laughs> tonight. Um, and then we all, like, packed, like, essentials and important documents and stuff like that. Um, just in case we did have to evacuate, because we're actually on, um, we're, like on high alert like our neighborhood is so we don't have to evacuate yet but in case we do like we like they recommend that we like get everything that we need like packed up and all that stuff which is actually really good like I'm so thankful that um, we kind of have like a little bit of a heads up in case anything like having to leave happens because like there's I think it's like 90,000 people in or like in like in the area that fires are um, affecting like 90,000 residences had to evacuate so far and like just like houses like kind of like down the street from where I live right like where I live like have had to evacuate so we're just like really cautious right now and making sure that we just have everything situated so um, I was actually like really busy trying to do all this other stuff so right now I'm actually going to try and like just pack up important stuff um, and clothes and all that in case we have to leave um, I don't know I have like a mental checklist I should actually make a written checklist in case um, we need like in case I forget anything, but um, yeah, it has just been a whirlwind of a day. It's so crazy. Um, I'm probably not gonna sleep at all tonight, um, just in case we do end up having to leave or anything. Like, I want to make sure that I know. Um, and I know, like, the police officers, like, they, they'll drive down, like, the neighborhood and all that. And my room is, like, literally right, um, like, so I can hear all that stuff. So man it has just been so crazy <laughs> uh, but again very thankful that um, we're all okay so far we don't have to leave but like my heart really goes out to all the people that do um, that did have to leave uh, a couple of you guys um, actually messaged me too and were like stay safe and you like like a lot of you guys messaged me and that was so kind and so like thank you for all your like all your prayers and positive thoughts and I, I as a couple of you guys also messaged me saying that you actually lived in those areas that had to evacuate and that is just so crazy so like everyone if you could just like I don't know if just take a second to just like send some positive energy some positive thoughts to um, all the people that are being affected by this it's just like so nuts 
but yeah that has been my day um i am going to try I'm, I'm actually just gonna edit this video really quick so i can get it up and ready um to go up in the morning um again like if in case we do have to leave or anything i don't know um about if i'm gonna be able to um put up videos but um, just in case, just, like, check out my Instagram. I'll keep you guys updated on there for sure. Um, but, yeah. So, everything's just, like, so up in the air right now. <sighs> and, yeah. Man. I'm just, like, a thousand things are just going through my brain right now. Like, what, what do I have to do? What do I have to do? What do I have to do? Anyway, I love you guys so, so much. Everyone, stay safe. Um, be kind. And I'll see you guys all uh, in the next video. Okay. Bye.